Welcome to AmeenAcademy.com. In World History, let us discuss about Nubia, the kingdom of Kerma and Kush. Nubia, ancient region in northeastern Africa, extending approximately from the Nile River Valley near the first cataract in Upper Egypt, eastward to the shores of the Red Sea, southward to about Khartoum in what is now Sudan, and westward to the Libyan desert. Nubia is traditionally divided into two regions, the southern portion, which extended north to the southern end of the second cataract of the Nile, was known as Upper Nubia. This was called Kush. Under the 18th dynasty, Peros of ancient Egypt, it, and was called Ethiopia by the ancient Greeks. Lower Nubia was the northern part of the region located between the second and first cataract of Aswan. This is called Wawat. Further explanation. The region south of Aswan at the first cataract of the Nile River is commonly called Nubia. Nubia is notable for its long-term dyna dynamic relationship with ancient Egypt, just as importantly, Nubia was also the site of an early civilization, the kingdom of Kerma and Kush em emerged along the Nile River. This kingdom prepared especially due to their productive agriculture and the region copious natural resources. At certain points, both Kerma and Kush were strong enough to successfully invade Egypt. This kingdom in Nubia also developed their own religious and cultural traditions, including a written script, Mediotic, while the people of this region, known collectively as Nubians, borrowed heavily from the Egyptians. Nubians also had distinctive practice that set their civilization apart from their that of their northern neighbors. Scholars generally think link the region of ancient Kerma in present-day Sudan back to the desiccation of the Sahara Desert and the rise of dynastic Egypt. Similarly, in ancient Egypt, the drying out of the region encouraged people to move closer to the Nile River in the years between 5000 and 4000 BCE. Rock paintings showing cattle in areas that have been desert of thousands of years attest to the environmental changes in the Nubia and also the development of cattle culture that dates back to at least the fourth millennium BC. Just in Egypt, the desiccation of the Sahara Desert drew together people from all directions. As people settled closer to the Nile River in Nubia, they brought their cattle, their agriculture traditions, and their languages, building settlement with higher population densities. Additionally, Egyptian elites desired ivory, animal skins, incense, and other luxurious goods, prompting trade between Nubia and Egypt that predated the unification of Egypt. With increased demand for luxury goods as social stratification grew, the Egyptians even ran military forays into Nubia. After unification of Egyptians continued to invade Nubia, invade Nubia to trade and raid for slaves and cattle. Likely Nubian desires to control trade and protect themselves from Egypt, Egyptian raids further compelled state formation in Nubia. Without Nubian records from the 3rd millennium BC, it is difficult to identify additional reasons why the state arose. However, archaeological evidence does clearly indicate that by about 2400 BCE, Nubians had formed the kingdom of Kerma between the 3rd and 4th cataract of the Nile River. Next. We will talk about Kerma. The kingdom of Kerma or the Kerma culture was an early civilization centered in Kerma, that is Sudan, in Sudan. 
it flourished from around 2500 BC to 1500 BC in ancient Nubia. The Kerma culture was based in the southern part of the Nubia or upper Nubia in part of the present day northern and central Sudan and later extended its reach northward into lower Nubia under the border of Egypt. The polity seems to have been one of the number of Nile Valley states during the Middle Kingdom of Egypt. In the Kingdom of Kerma's latest phase, lasting from 1700 to 1500 BC, it absorbed the Sudanese Kingdom of Sai and became a sizable populous empire rivaling Egypt. Around 1500 BC, it was absorbed into the new Kingdom of Egypt, but rebellions continued for centuries. By the 11th century BC, more Egyptianized kingdom of Kush emerged possibly from Kerma and regained the region's independence from Egypt. Now further about Kerma. Kerma endured in Upper Nubia for almost a thousand years. The kingdom is named after its capital city at Kerma at the third quarter cataract, but excavation at other sites where similar pottery styles and burial sites have been found suggests that it at its height Kerma's reach may, may have extended more than 200 miles southward past and fifth cataract of the Nile River. So far archaeological evidence indicates that with the exception of the capital and perhaps one or two other sites, most of the capital in Kerma lived in smaller villages. They grew crops like barley and kept goats, sheep and cattle, sending tribute to their capital. The people of Kerma also developed industries, especially in mining, metalworks and pottery. Kerma was a link inter-regionally through trade to its tributary villages to dynastic Egypt and to sub-Saharan Africa. Egyptian Pharaohs and Elites wanted to gold, copper, slaves, ivory, exotic animals and more at the obtained from Kerma. The people of Kerma also made use of their location on the Nile and proximity to Egypt as they imported textiles, jewelry and other manufactured goods. Presumably, one reason that Nubian leaders built their ancient capital at Kerma was to oversee river trade at the impassable cataract. Boat owners unloaded their cargo and took it overland past the shallow shallows and rocks before again proceeding on the water. This location at the cataract gave the leaders at Kerma the chance to tax, divert a registered go goods being transported between Kerma and Egypt. Agricultural surplus and other tributary payments supported the rules and elites of the capital. Archaeologists have shown that capital, of, capital had defenses, including ditches, ramparts, and massive walls with towers. There were also places with, within the city and on its outskirts. However, the most famous structure is the Western Defufa, de made of mud bricks which likely served as a temple. Archaeologists unearthed the remains of horses, dogs, and about 400 human sacrificial victims. The cattle skulls, mounds, and mounds and remains of human sacrifices have led scholars to suggest that the Kerma elite had their own styles of monu monumental structures like the Western Defufa and their dome, tombs. Even though they sometimes employed the Egyptian artisans to complete the construction of these grand projects. It appears that Kerma was strongest when neighboring Egypt was weak. As a 
case in point during egyptian second intermediate period kerma at the height of its power successfully invaded parts of upper egypt and established diplomatic relationships with the occupying high cause a further about the kingdom of kerma or the kerma culture was an early civilization centered in kerma sudan it flourished from around 2500 bc to 1500 bc in ancient nubia the kerma culture was based in the southern part of the nubia that is upper nubia and part of the present day northern central sudan next one the kingdom of kush the kingdom of kush was powerful ancient state that existed twice in what is now the northern part of sudan the second kingdom which lasted from 1000 bce until 400 ce is the better known and studied of the two but it was presided by an earlier kingdom that was a center of trade and innovation between 2000 1500 bce the kerma the first kingdom of kush the first kingdom of kush may be the oldest african states outside of egypt it developed around the settlement of kerma that is in upper nubia the kerma arose around 2400 bce including the egypt egyptian old kingdom and became the capital of the kush kingdom by 2000 bce classical kerma thrived between 1750 and 1500 bce kush flourished most when egypt was at its weakest and the last 150 years of the classical kerma period overlap with a time of upheaval in egypt during this era kush had access to gold mines and traded extensively with its northern neighbors generating significant wealth and power the second kingdom of kush over time egyptian control over nubia declined and by the 11th century bce the viceroys of kush and had become independent kings a new kushite kingdom emerged and by 730 bce kush had conquered egypt right up to the shores of the mediterranean the kushite pharaoh pa established the 25th dynasty in egypt conquest and contact with egypt had already shaped kush culture the second kingdom of kush erected pyramids worshiped many egyptian gods and called its rulers pharaohs though the art of the architecture of kush kept nubian characteristics in 671 bce egypt was invaded by the assyrians and by 654 bc they had driven the kush back into the nubia mero kush remained safe in south of aswan it developed a separate language and architectural style kush did maintain the pharaonic tradition eventually the capital was moved from napata south to mero where the new meriotic kingdom emerged by 100 ce kush was in decline and was destroyed by axum in 400 ce as egypt entered in third in intermediate period nubian gradually established their independence eventually creating new state that is the kingdom of kush in the 8th century bc with the new capital at mero the location with well watered farmland and some distance between it and egypt the kingdom of kush flourished mero got more rainfall than napata and was not as dependent on the nile floods nubians were able to extend the area under civilization and grow a wider variety of crops like cotton sorghum and millet 
they were also able to easily graze their livestock and as a result during this period cattle become even more important as a symbol of their culture and wealth. After moving the capital to Mero, the culture of Kush showed more independent from Egypt as well. Particularly as Egypt power declined, the people of Kush put more emphasis on their own deities and pushed Egyptian gods to the background. For example, temple devoted to a Nubian war god, Apodamek, the line of the south, received more support and even useful live lines for rituals. Gold had long been mined in the region of the region and remained important while the people of Kush continued to develop additional industries. The area was rich in iron ore and the hardware <coughs> hardwoods used to make charcoal which encouraged the growth of becoming booming iron industry. They made iron weapons and tools that they used for defense and to increase their crops yield. They were able to trade their agricultural surpluses, iron, cattle and exotic things like elephants from sub-Saharan Africa with, uh, with Egypt, Greece, Rome and India bringing great wealth and prestige to Mero. Also the rulers of Mero commissioned pyramids but <laughs> had them built in a local style. While the Greeks and Romans occasionally sent raiding parties into Nubia, for a while Mero's southern location helped isolate it from conquest. Legends also emphasize the strength of Mero's army and the physical power flows of its soldiers. Environmental changes, internal rivalries and the rise of Oxo, that is a new state to the east likely all contributed to the fairly abrupt collapse of Mero in the 4th century CE. Egyptian sources were generally very derogatory in their portrayal of Nubians and even a few early 20th century archaeologists carelessly and incorrectly identified this Nubian kingdom as slave colonies of the Egyptian. However, the kingdom of Keruma and Kush were known in the ancient world for their wealth and their industries. The wealth garnered through the productive agriculture and trade supported a ruling class, great artists and monumental architecture. Egyptian culture was influenced, influential but Nubians adopted Egyptian's practice to meet their own needs and sensibilities often enlarged, often entangled with Egypt and sometimes defending themselves from other invaders as well. These two kingdoms persisted for hundreds of years, creating an independent civilization along the southern stretches of the Nile River. So far we discussed about Nubia and the Kingdom of Kerman Kush. We have done. Please subscribe our YouTube channel.